So I'm here today to talk about ukulele straps and I have my wall behind me and I have a few of them pre-strapped so that we can look at what those straps are doing. I first will say that I do not normally use a ukulele strap, but if you are going to use a strap it's important you get the right type. Here we have a strap that requires two pegs, an end peg and a midway peg. And if you don't have those pegs, you can buy a peg set online or at your local music store. You do have to drill a hole and screw it in. And there is a chance, of course, that it would crack. But if you want a strap that goes on and it's sturdy, this type of strap is ideal. Another strap that's sturdy requires just one peg, one end pin, and then on the other end it ties around up near the nut. Now if you're playing regular guitar, a lot of times the strap tied here is not comfortable, but for ukulele, because it's a smaller instrument, it does tend to work fairly well. So this also means that you can be hands-free and that you've got lots of control over your instrument. The third type, which seems to be the most common on YouTube and on eBay and on Amazon, is this little hook strap, and it's my least favorite for a couple of reasons. One is, when you slide this on and off, it can scratch the finish of your ukulele. And the other is, although it's holding your ukulele on, it's not really holding it. If you have this on and you let go, it just doesn't want to lay the right way. If you have this on and you let go, it's going to fall away from you. It's not going to hold itself up. So you end up mostly holding it anyway. It's kind of like a security blanket, I guess, in case you let go, it grabs it. But this strap, um, you adjust to the height you want. And it does the job of a little security blanket. Like I say, the drawbacks are potentially scratching your finish and the fact that you can't really go hands-free with the ukulele. This particular system, of course you have to have a string with it. A lot of times if you don't have a string you can just take any strap and add a string to it. And then here we are with the two pegs. So I said that I don't usually use a strap and I don't really like the straps. Um, there are two reasons when I do tend to use them. Reason number one, if I'm going to be teaching a class and I need to be able to let go of my ukulele and help another, st another student with how to hold their fingers or some other technique, it's nice to not have to constantly set it down. And then the other thing is, if you are using a ukulele that gets plugged in, and the cord is heavy, and you're going to be playing for a long time, that weight can really pull down on it, and in that case, it is nice to have that strap to help supporting it. So if you do order a strap, you want to make sure that you get the right type. You want to find out if you need to buy pins, or pegs, and then if you do, is that something you're going to try to install yourself or if you're going to pay a professional to do it? I'm not real fond of installing them myself. I did it once and I didn't break anything, but the more expensive your instrument is, the more careful you want to be. And those are some things about the ukulele straps. I just finished recording the strap video and I did not make a comment about my shirt and somebody here at my house said that I need to at least point it out. So we have here a guitar and a ukulele and the play on Star Wars. It's not Luke, but it's Ook. Ook, I am your father. No!